people of women during this season. May the words from my mouth and the thoughts in our hearts be acceptable to our God, our strength, and our Redeemer. From Psalm 19, verse 14. Easter Sunday. The most important day of the Christian year. The day we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. The great event which lies at the heart of Christian gospel. Easter marks the dawning of a new consciousness among the followers of Jesus. A consciousness which culminates at Pentecost with the birth of an empowered community of faith. An Easter people enlivened with the power of God. The resurrection of Jesus is the cornerstone event of the church. Paul wrote in Corinthians 15, If Christ has not been raised from the dead, then the preaching is in vain, and your faith is in vain. As he was trying to convince the Corinthians about the resurrection. The whole case for Jesus as the way, the truth, and life itself rests on his resurrection, which is witnessed by the church. Resurrection Sunday, the entire New Testament, and of course all of those who are disciples of Christ. Something happened that transformed the disciples from a band of lost sheep into giants of courage and conviction. They went from denying Jesus to be willing to face the test of torture and martyrdom. They were convinced of his res resurrection which would ensure their desire for eternal life. As the COVID epidemic recedes, a new world emerges for us in our times. Let us make sure that the proclamation will never be muted and that our joy is not shortchanged. The church will continue to do its best work of baptisms, weddings, and funerals. But the key to which is the best work is done is in the middle of the cemetery when proclaiming life over death. Women have the pivotal role on Easter morning. They discovered the empty tomb and encountered the angel of God or several angels of God as the account, depending on the account being read. Either Mary Magdalene alone or with several other women, including Mary, the mother of James, Joanna, the wife of Herod Stewart, and perhaps others. Again, depending on the reading, she or they go and tell the male disciples the good news. In John, Mary Magdalene announces, I have seen the risen Lord. I have seen the risen Lord. But in Luke, we are told that the men considered the women's report to be an idle lie, a fairy tale, nonsense and unbelievable. Peter goes to the site and checks anyway to see if what they say is true. And it is. In a post-resurrection appearance to Mary Magdalene and to the other Mary, Jesus asks them to tell the disciples that he will meet up with them in Galilee. To be noted is that there is no great coincidence that the women were at the tomb. They were doing the work of tending the dead, of preparing spices and ointments to care for the body of Christ. They were taking these things to the tomb. 
but it is a fact that women were the first ones to proclaim the good news. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. At first, to considered to be unreliable witnesses, that they had encountered the tomb first is, significant, is extremely significant. An empowerment to all women, and perhaps a message from God, who elevated them into permanent discipleship status with this event. Our God, who created this planet and all that is within, who masterminded the birth of Jesus, has also mastercrafted the resurrection, has broken the countercultural tone and suggests that women just might be the best candidates to succeed, to succeed Judas and belong with the original twelve disciples. I am sure that God did not intend women to be second-class citizens, but rather as equals in an equal society. One gender is not to dominate the other, but to stand on equal footing in all endeavors. I finish with a short excerpt from the 20th century poet Khalil Gibran, who lived from 1883 to 1931 where he is talking about marriage. And together, yet not too near together. For the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. The resurrection of Jesus Christ lies at the foundation of Christianity. That it happened and how it happened remains within the realm of mystery. The first disciples experienced something that day, but we may never know exactly what. Yet this profound truth has surely, slowly and surely come down through the centuries. That Christ is somehow present with us even here and even now. Christ is risen indeed. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Amen.